the Road to Rio 2016 stops off in Barcelona as we enter training camp with the World Field Hockey Player of the Year. Robert van der Hurst's impressive career has seen him lead the Netherlands to silver at the 2012 Olympics and guide Aranya Zwart to the EuroLeague title in 2015. His week is typically split between club and country, making the opportunity to spend a full week in training camp crucial in refining skills and building camaraderie. We have a short competition for like eight or nine weeks where there will be 16 or 17 games, so it's pretty hard and we don't have a lot of time to train with each other. It's really nice to be one week without any uh, distractions from family or, or friends to get your main focus on hockey and talk about how we want to play and how we want to improve ourselves. When you're getting under pressure, for example finals, you don't have the time anymore to talk about how do you want to do things or how do you want to solve things. That's the things we are doing here. Even at the elite level of hockey, players focus on perfecting the basics to ensure that in match situations they can play on instinct. We call it like uh, uploading and downloading. Uh, during training we're uploading our skills. Every time we are trying to do different things, you train yourself to get out of your comfort zone to be better uh, in your skills or in your play or in your passing. And during a game you can't think about it anymore, so that's the repetition you need to upload all your skills to download them through a match where you don't have to think about it anymore. The first skill we trained today was the combination between 2D and 3D. For me, it's uh, important to, to get the ball in the defender's forehand. He has the feeling he can get the ball and in the very late phase of that action, I'll bring my backhand over the ball and the ball rolls over the stick of the defender. The defender who thinks he has the ball is really grounded on the floor and he can't go anywhere. The second we did was hitting a backhand. It's pretty important that I can hit the backhand as good as my forehand. I'm looking over the pitch to my attackers to see if I can uh, give them two lines, one line with the forehand, the other line with the backhand. And to train that, it's, uh, it's pretty important these days in, the, in our game. Field hockey players use a technique called the Indian dribble to beat their opponents. It consists of rapidly changing the direction of the ball from right to left when attacking, making it very difficult to defend. The Indian dribble um, is a thing you can always use in your game. I'm training it a lot, uh, even uh, on the ball as over the ball, so the ball runs in one straight line and I'll make some body fakes to make sure the defender is getting on the run foot so I can play uh, around him or through him. We play with penalty corners, so we have a push out, we have a trap, and we have a guy who flicks the ball pretty hard on the goal. Uh, so we're training that for hours and days to make sure that will be picture perfect. The difference between flicking the ball or uh, striking the ball is all about speed and control. So if you're passing a player who is a, a defender in his back, you, you normally choose for a more controlled pass, which is a flicking ball or a push ball. That ball uh, is not that fast, but it gives the guy who has to trap the ball more time to control the ball and it makes it easier for him. If you want to speed up the play or you want to force some things, you probably go for a more like striking pass. It's less controlled, but it can speed up the play. There will be a little bit risk on it because the opponent can read your passing line much easier. During the years, you see more striking uh, passing than, than, than flicking passing because our technique is improving uh, every day. In his role as captain of club and country, Vanderhorst is tasked with guiding the next generation of hockey talent. It's his willingness to adapt and evolve that has kept him at the top of his game for over a decade. The drive to learn is always there. Every year there are coming younger guys in the team and they are bringing new energy, they're bringing new skills and I'm really eager to learn from those guys as well. So it's not only me who is inspiring a generation, but it's also the new generation who is inspiring me. I'm getting older, I know. Still I'm so eager and so hungry to get the best out of myself and out of my teammates. I hope I can do it a few more years to inspire uh, people around me and people can inspire me.